For Drake, it's always been checks over stripes. Sure, things were a little rocky there for a bit, but overall, Drake's loyalty to Nike and Jordan brand has paid back in spades. With multiple collaborations with the swoosh under his OVO brand, and with his first signature sneaker rumored to be right around the corner, we figured it's time to take a stroll down memory lane. While Drake wouldn't officially sign with Jordan brand until 2013, Nike's and Air Jordans had already been a well-established part of his wardrobe for years prior. From around 2009 to 2013, before Drake was the household name he is today, he could frequently be seen rocking classics like the Air Jordan 3, 4, 8, 9, and 11, both on and off the stage. During these pre-Jordan partnership years, the brand was already seeding him unreleased kicks and rare PEs to fuel the internet hype machine. Take for instance these. It's hard to believe that this was over 10 years ago already, but Drake gave upcoming releases like the Air Jordan 11 Retro Concord a solid boost in popularity whenever he would tease them on his Instagram. Over the years, Drake was also gifted a variety of limited edition PEs, usually to commemorate tours or special events. Some of the most notable of these include the Air Jordan 3s from his 2014 Drake vs Lil Wayne tour, the Air Jordan 8 Cali Parry pack, and these metallic gold Jordan 3s he wore during the 2014 OVO Fest in Toronto. But Drake's sneaker cred really took off in earnest with this release, the OVO and Air Jordan 10. The first official collaboration between Drizzy and the Jumpman was super subtle in execution, opting for tonal black and white colorways with Stingray leather paneling throughout. The only apparent branding on the shoes appear in the form of OVO logos in gold lettering throughout the 10's translucent outsole. While his album dips into multiple genre experiments, his footwear tends to stick to the minimalistic side of things. This was very much the case with his next collab, the OVO and Air Jordan 12. Dropping originally in a white colorway with more Stingray leather accents and hits of metallic gold hardware, a sleek pair of OVO Hydro Slides released quietly alongside in matching colors. These first debuted during the 2016 Toronto Raptors Drake Night celebrations, where the hip hop superstar gave pairs away to the home team and their fans. They released to the general public later that fall, followed by a triple black iteration with matching apparel that dropped during the NBA All-Star Games in 2017. 2016 also saw the release of a Jordan 6 low in commemoration of his album Views. Dubbed the Hot 100s, Drake wore this low-key white leather Jordan during a SNL performance, but sadly, they were never released to the public. Now let's take a short break from the sneakers for a bit. In 2017, OVO dropped two limited edition boots with the legendary brands Timberland and Clark's Originals. For the Clark's collab, they chose the classic desert boot, now redone with embossed OVO monograms throughout the black, tan, and purple suede uppers. For the Tim's collab, you know they had to keep it classic with the 6 inch boot. Available in both wheat or triple black leather, Drake knew not to mess too much with the good thing, opting to leave most of the Tim's DNA intact, except for some OVO branded medallions on the tongue and switching the materials of the standard black leather padded heel cup to Nubuck. Seeming to always stick to his roots, Drake gave Toronto its own city exclusive kicks with the OVO and Jordan Trunner LX release. With only 280 pairs produced, these are likely the rarest of his collabs so far. Released to commemorate the grand opening of the city's first flagship Jordan store, these sneakers took cues from the previous releases opting for a split black-white colorway reminiscent of the 10s and 12s. While not as popular as his mainline Air Jordans, this shoe remains a must-have for some sneakerheads and Drake fans based on the sheer rarity alone. 2018 saw Drake take on yet another mainline Air Jordan with the Air Jordan 8 OVO release. Dropping again in classic black and white gold colorways, the Air Jordan 8 OVO featured more premium materials like tumbled leather and fine nubuck paneling, as well as signature hits of that OVO gold on the heel cups and the woven heel tag. Next up, we have the last Jordans Drake got to work on before pushing things into overdrive with his very own Nike subline Nocta. Released in June of 2019 to celebrate the Toronto Raptors NBA championship run at the time, the Air Jordan 4 Raptors was released in two nearly identical versions due to some drama. You see, initially, this shoe was supposed to arrive as an official Drake collab, complete with the artist's signature on the woven tongue tag and everything. But there was rumors that Drake was going to leave Nike and start his own subline at Adidas called Adidon. Get it? Like the Don? Adidon? The only reason we know this is because of some very public rap beef courtesy of Pusha T, during which Pusha revealed, among other things, that Drake was working on a deal with Adidas. Whatever happened behind the scenes is anyone's guess, but clearly, 
Drake and Nike were able to settle their differences, and after the Air Jordan 4 Raptors was initially released without a signature, an updated version with his literal cosign in act did eventually drop. A lot of drama for a sneaker, I know, but go ahead and leave your comments down below, and if you're enjoying this, please give it a like. Before we get to Nocta, there are a few one-offs that deserve mention. While none of these got a public release, Drake did don a few exclusive Nike and Jordan colorways on stage and online between 2018 and 2019, and I figured we'd cover them here. These included the blue and black Nike Air Max Pluses, for stage use only, a black and red Nike Air Vomero 5, and finally, the Air Jordan 4 Bread Splatter, a remix of the iconic Jordan Bread 4s. This pair featured suede uppers, hidden 3M mesh underlays, OVO Owl logos underneath the heel tabs, and most notably, a Jackson Pollock style painted splatter detailing on the sole's midsole and heel. It's heartbreaking that these 4s never dropped anywhere. Well, except at a Sotheby's auction where a sample pair sold for a staggering amount of $32,000. $760. There's also been images of a certified lover boy version of the classic triple white Air Force One floating around, which replaces the traditional Air logos that you see on the heel. Instead, it says in a script, love you forever, and a heart shaped tread pattern on the outsole. Unfortunately, it's still too early to tell if these will actually release or if these were just yet another one off for Drake. And that brings us to the present. While Nike Notka has released a couple of apparel capsules since launching last year, the first footwear releases from the Moody label are rumored to drop later this year in the form of the vintage-inspired Hot Step Air Terra. Drake's been wearing these all over the place over the last year, most notably during his Nike headquarters escapades with Little Dirk in the duo's Laugh Now Cry Later video. This shoe takes some of the DNA of Drake's favorite Nike shoes like the Air Max Plus and the Air Max 95 as visible in the exposed air bubble in the midsole and uniquely quilted leather upper. A mini jewel swoosh adorns the lateral heel, all of which sits atop a unique hiking inspired midsole. I don't know about you, but these sneakers remind me of K-Swiss and sort of like, I don't know, prison life. Jailhouse sneakers, you know what I'm saying? But I'm curious to know what you think. Leave it in the comments down below. I appreciate you getting to this point in the video. Um, if this is your first, second, third time watching, consider subscribing to the channel. It would really help us out. And I will leave you guys with this. I'm gonna put a link here of all the uh, sneaker history videos we've done if you wanna check them out. A video just like this one. I mean, a video, tons of videos just like this one and uh, endless hours of sneaker knowledge for you to learn. So I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you over in those videos. Click here or here. Peace. I gotta take my mic off before I walk off here. <laughs>